Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. I have another review on a mountain house homestyle chicken noodle casserole. Y'all stick around. Lone Star Rider on his motorcycle. Uh, this is the new packaging on the mountain house they're wider they're not all like they used to be which i kind of like because it makes it easier to eat with a shorter spoon not bad there are some things you need with this and you're going to need some water got some water here you're going to need some kind of heat source i've got a stove a jet boil awesome stove and you need the package here so the calories on this says that it's a two serving which I might agree with we'll find out after I cook it and it's a uh, 280 280 calories per serve. and the instructions are pretty easy it's just like the the mountain house always has been is that you open the package you tear it here they got, they've got little notches and just tear off the top and you take out the absorption I guess that's what it says it says do not eat <laughs> I guess people have ate these things don't know. and the uh, noodles in there I usually like to taste the uh, freeze-dried stuff because usually it's pretty good freeze-dried mm. tastes pretty good like that could snack on it. Freeze dried piece of chicken. It's not bad actually. I like this. There's different amount of water that you use for different uh, mountain house meals. These freeze dried meals. So they want a one cup and a half of water that has been boiled and then you carefully stir it into the package. You wait five minutes, stir it again, reclose the seal, and then wait another four minutes, stir and enjoy right out of the package. That's what it says. All right, so, so let's boil our water. There's a two cup, two cup marker in here. This thing also does, has a marker in it to the bottom part of the stove and I'm going to use it because it will let me do one cup and then another half cup this one only has a one cup marker this one has a quarter a half and a full cup something like that yeah oh three quarters of a cup and then a full cup so I'm going to do a full cup and then a half cup one cup now we're going to do a half a cup I could have did a guesstimation on there and there's a uh, marker here but it's almost wore out The flash boil will boil this water in about a minute. It's pretty darn quick uh, for two cups, so it might be a little quicker this time. And it has this little yellow indicator, this little uh, boil indicator here. So when this turns yellow, that means the water is boiled. But you can hear it rumble. So anyway, let's get to it. So we're waiting on the water to boil. But I'm not going to watch it. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I've boiled water and then I went to go do something and it's already done it. Uh, so, you've got to pay attention because it does it pretty darn fast. And uh, I'm already hearing some kind of stirring here. And it's, it's already starting to rumble. And it's starting to turn yellow here. And I think it's done, pretty much. Let it go up just a little bit more. Not much. And I hear it rumbling in here. So it's done. 
going crazy. Now, if you touch this, this is hot. You got to touch the other part of this stove right here and lift it off. We're going to set the stove over here and we're going to slowly add the water to this meal, this hot boiling water. Kind of stir it in. All right, that is all of our water. Make this sure this is all stirred up very well. We're going to seal it off. And I'm going to set the timer for five minutes. With the magic of video, we'll be right back with you, just like it's been five minutes. Let's uh, stir this up and then wait another four minutes. <laughs> oh, it's looking good. Oh man, it smells good. Can't wait to try it out. All right, I'm setting the uh, timer for four minutes. It's on and I'll be back with you in just a second. It's been four minutes. Let's see how this tastes after we give it a little bit of a stir. Right, this looks absolutely awesome. So we're gonna give it a good stir here like they say on the uh, pouch. And then let's give it a smell test first. Oh, it smells good. Look at that. I'm blowing it because I can feel the heat. Not spicy, but hot, temperature wise. That's not bad at all. I'm really uh, liking it. It tastes more like chicken and dumplings to me. Uh, but it's chicken and noodles and it's a casserole. Could have maybe put a little bit less water in there because it's kind of not really soupy but just a little bit. But it is good. I would buy this again. Oh wow. This is really good. Um, you can taste the uh, the green peppers, the mushrooms, the carrots that's in here. Um, all kinds of uh, awesome stuff. And the bag itself, it's a lot easier to uh, spoon this stuff out instead of the taller, squattier bags. You people who think that uh, freeze-dried meals taste like cardboard, just don't even come close to cardboard. <laughs> this is an awesome meal, and this will fill me up. I'm going to finish this up, and I'll be right back with you, okay? No, it won't be that long. It'll be... No, I didn't eat that fast. <laughs> wow, for 550 calories, a very filling and taste an awesome taste um, this is a really good meal I like this uh, I'll buy this again um, it says that it let's let's go over the package here real quick it says ingredients are pre-cooked noodles drum some uh, I don't know what that is whole egg milk the sauce is non-fat dry milk rendered chicken fat cornstarch less than two percent a seasoning yeast extract chicken flavored cooked ground chicken with juices <laughs> yeah with juices, sea salt, chicken flavored onion powder, potato flour, carrots, pow carrot powder, turmeric flavored black pepper, cane sugar, onion powder, white peppery celery seed, uh, chicken meat and salt. Well, it's a good thing they actually put chicken in here. <laughs> salt, mushrooms, salt, uh, aminos, they put aminos in there, uh, citric acid, aminos and citric acid, green bell peppers, celery, and contains milk, wheat, and eggs. 
not bad at all for uh, the calories. And if you're counting your carbs, this is a uh, has 31 grams of carbs in it. Uh, if you eat the whole deal, 61 grams of carbs. I really enjoyed this meal. It was awesome. It tasted great. I highly recommend it. It cost me nine dollars to buy. And for a nine dollar meal that fills you up, that's not bad at all. Well, cleanup is a breeze. The only thing I have to wash is my spork. The flash bowl, all I have to do is let the uh, container there dry. And it's done. If y'all are not subscribed to me, y'all should be. Click on that subscribe button and then hammer the hell out of the bell. And you'll get an email notification that I've uploaded a video. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, share, comment. Catch y'all on the road. Well, Mountain House Home Style Noodle. <laughs> Mountain House Adventure Meals. Mountain House Adventure Meals. These free dry, free, 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 free. These free dried meals. Freeze dried. These freeze dried meals. Am I saying that right still? The flash boil will blow. Blah, 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 blah. This is a very feel. Feeling, 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 feeling. Click on that. If you're wondering where I'm at, I'm at a AO. 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 I'm at a KOA camp here in Arlington, Texas. Just trying out these feeds. Awesome.